Hello everyone and welcome to this video guide showing how to complete Herbalist Challenge 9 as Arthur Morgan prior to the epilogue. This guide will explain how to do this going into detail about all the techniques you will need to use as this isn't easy. There are several things you need to do right so please check the timestamps in the description if you are having problems with one part of this. To begin with, it is worth recapping on the nature of the problem before discussing the solution. Herbalist Challenge 9 requires you to pick all 43 different types of plants in the game, but four of them can only be found in New Austin. As Arthur Morgan, this presents some problems. Firstly, you'll have to pass through the Great Plains where lethal squads of Pinkertons are patrolling and looking for you. Then, if you get past them, there is an invisible sniper that will constantly fire on you if you reach New Austin. It may miss a couple of times, but it's a one-hit kill attack. It would therefore initially seem like getting into New Austin to pick those four plants is impossible. However, it turns out there is a way to do this and as of November the 18th, 2020, this still works. It's not been patched yet by Rockstar Games. The invisible sniper always fires at the back of your head from the position of the game's camera. Therefore, if you are riding a covered wagon, that means Arthur's head isn't visible to the in-game camera, you will be shielded from the sniper shot. Credit goes to Unlockable Eden Gaming, who I believe was the first to discover this. However, it's not quite that simple. You have to be very careful when you get off the wagon to pick any plants, as the camera will zoom in as you dismount. There is a lot of technique to setting up the camera angle to ensure you remain safely covered. Therefore, I decided to make a video to explain how to do this very precisely. I believe I have also found a previously as yet undiscovered glitch that can also help you if things go wrong. This video focuses purely on getting those four plants that are unique to New Austin. For the rest of the challenge, please check the links in the description for other videos. This will show you how to get all the other plants required, including, for example, the prairie poppy, which is only found on the Great Plains being patrolled by the Pinkertons, as we mentioned earlier. It is also worth noting there is a common misconception that English mace is only available in New Austin. This isn't the case. It's rare, but you can also find it at certain points in Amberino. The other videos linked in the description will cover this and all 37 other plants that are accessible in non-restricted areas of the map. With the introduction out of the way, the guide is split into the following parts. Part 1 shows you how and where to steal a wagon. Part 2 shows you how to adjust the game's camera settings correctly. Part 3 shows you how to practice picking herbs in advance of starting the challenge. Part 4 discusses how to avoid the Pinkertons when crossing the Great Plains. Part 5 covers where you need to go in New Austin. Part 6 discusses a backup glitch that may help you if things go wrong and part 7 shows the full journey and all four plants unique to New Austin being picked. So let's start with part 1, how to steal a wagon. At any time in daylight these will frequently spawn in the town of Strawberry. If one isn't there simply ride out of town and back in again it rarely takes 
more than a couple of goes to get one to appear. Simply ride alongside it and when you get the button prompt, jump to the wagon and drive off with it. You won't get a lot of lore on you for this, even though it's in the middle of a town. Simply drive south towards the border with the Great Plains and you should lose any wanted level you acquire without a problem. You should however note that there are two types of covered wagon and you might not initially notice the difference. Check that the one you're about to steal is being pulled by two horses, not a single horse. The smaller type is less effective for the job and you should ignore it. Be aware that if you save and reload the game you will lose the wagon, so you must be prepared to go the distance once you've stolen it. It's worth pointing out that there are other alternative vehicles and methods to get into New Austin. I know for example Unlockable Eden Gaming favours a buggy, which does seem to be better at covering you when you pick plants. The only problem I found with this is you can only get one of these buggies in Saint Denis, and as any regular player will know, it's simply teeming with lore, and stealing one there is highly likely to end in tears. This is in total contrast to stealing a covered wagon in Strawberry that very rarely gets you too much attention. And even if you do get the buggy out of Saint Denis, you have to drive it all the way across the map to get to the Great Plains. At which point you run into another problem. It's much more brittle than the wagon and the Pinkertons may well destroy it. So overall for its durability, the ease of stealing it and its proximity to where you need to go, I favour using the wagon. There's also the meat shield approach where you carry a carcass to protect you from the sniper. However, you'll have to literally walk miles across the map, which will take you real-time hours, and it's likely to end in a manner that is equally comical and annoying. Now you've got your wagon, you need to set your game's camera settings up correctly. Firstly, in the pause screen menu, go to settings, and then camera. You should set dynamic kill cams to off, camera follow level to off, third person view should be set to the widest possible setting, and first person auto level camera to off. The really critical one of these being to turn the camera follow level to off, otherwise after traveling a short distance it will automatically recenter as you drive the wagon, exposing the back of Arthur's head to the sniper. Then in game, you need to cycle through the field of view options from first person to narrow to normal until you set it to the widest possible point of view. Next, you should practice picking herbs in Big Valley before you cross over the border into hostile territory. There is a technique to setting up the camera angle correctly and it's very easy to mess this up. And if you get it wrong in New Austin, then you're dead. As you dismount, the camera will zoom in and if you get the wrong angle, it will zoom past the wagon, giving the sniper line of sight to you, and you'll be dead. Also, it's important to realize that it is the canvas tarpaulin that protects you from the bullets. Somewhat illogically, the wooden sides of the wagon do not. Again, if you set the camera angle slightly wrong, too low in this case, you're dead. You will have to drive a long way to get to New Austin, so given the ability to make a mistake, it's best to practice picking some herbs in Big Valley first, so you can be confident you know how to set the camera angle properly before you dismount. If you mess it up here, there's no sniper, and you can simply keep retrying 
until you get it right consistently. Firstly, line up the left front wheel of the wagon with the plant you want to pick, leaving enough space in between for Arthur to stand. This will minimise how much he has to move when you get off and require him to pick the plant. Then align the camera to the right of the wagon so you can just see some daylight in the bottom left hand corner through the back of it and you can only see the horse on the right side of the wagon. When you do it for real you should only dismount just after you've heard a sniper bullet fire as this will give you a second before the next bullet fires to reposition the camera if you need to. As you dismount the camera should then start to zoom in slightly through the inside of the wagon and while it does so very gradually angle the camera up slightly. This will ensure that the bullet will hit the canvas part blocking line of sight to your head rather than the wood which offers no protection. If you've done it right as you pick the plant you should still be covered as the camera angle will zoom in very slightly again. You should practice this several times before venturing down to New Austin. It's possible to use different camera angles um, but this is the one that has worked best for me. Um, but whatever method you use a slight misjudgment will still be fatal. When you pick the plants in New Austin, you should also save your game instantly before trying for the next one. If you make a mistake and die, reloading your save will place you back in Big Valley, but you'll not lose any plants you've already picked up to that point, so you can try again later for the others. Now you're ready to set out on your journey, you'll first need to evade the Pinkerton patrols as you pass through the Great Plains. Start here, as shown on the map, and set a waypoint to go through Beecher's Hope. You will want to eat some minty big game to get a gold health core, and have a good stock of potent health tonics as you're going to get shot by them a lot. The advantage of going through Beecher's Hope is the fences. It will restrict the Pinkerton's movement and make it harder for them to follow you, but you won't be able to avoid an encounter with them altogether. Simply press on and try to outrun them. You'll get shot a lot and their accuracy is such your health will drop rapidly. As soon as your golden fortified health bar is gone, and your health starts dropping, immediately take another tonic. Once you've got past Beecher's Hope, there are two routes into New Austin. If you are leaving the Pinkertons behind at this point, simply press straight on towards Thieves Landing. If none of them have eyes on you at this point, you will lose them as you cross the border. However, if they can see you, they will continue to follow you, which would make it impossible to pick the plants without being killed. Therefore, if the Pinkertons are still close to you after you've gone past Beecher's Hope, you should turn right and head towards the railway bridge and use that to cross into New Austin. Note in this scenario you could end up using over 10 health tonics in the trip so make sure you are well stocked up. The Pinkertons may follow you over the first bridge across the border but then take a right across the tracks that pass over Stillwater Creek and at that point you will lose them. As 
So, once you've passed into New Austin, where are you going? The following map shows the locations of the four plants you will need. Wild Feverfew, Red Sage, Black Currant, and Desert Sage. There are of course many more of them, but I find these specific ones are easy to access with the wagon as they are all in flat open ground. As you drive along, you will need to keep manually adjusting the camera angle as you turn corners, making sure that Arthur's head is never visible, always concealed behind the canvas tarpaulin of the wagon. There are generally few threats in New Austin, however, you may see an occasional lawman on the radar. They will recognise you from close up, but you must avoid them at all costs, as large amounts of reinforcements will arrive instantly if they spot you. Finally, here's a fallback glitch if things go wrong. As part of a brief discussion, I wouldn't actually describe the wagon method as a glitch, it is more of an exploit, a game mechanic that's perfectly genuine, but the developers did not necessarily intend to be used in this way. If you mess the camera angle up, however, I have something that is undeniably a glitch that you may use at your discretion to prevent being sniped. I discovered this when picking Wild Fever View, as so shown here. When I tried to pick the plant, the camera angle zoomed in past the wagon, removing my cover. I managed to pick the plant before being sniped, and quickly went to save my game to preserve the progress. Now, by this point, I thought there was no way I would have been able to have enough time left to climb back onto the wagon before another sniper bullet was fired. But somehow, I made it again. This led me to theorise, perhaps opening the pause menu resets the game timer that governs when another bullet is fired by the sniper, which is normally about one every second or so. So the next time I went to pick a plant, Red Sage in this case, I completely messed up the camera angle, so I tried spamming the pause button every half a second or so on and off, and sure enough I was able to dismount, pick the plant and get back on the wagon without being hit. I can't be certain what's actually going on here and that this is a genuine glitch, but it's hard to explain otherwise how spamming the pause button saved me in this case. It's always best to attempt to set up the right camera angle in the first instance, but this may be worth trying out if you don't get it quite right and the camera zooms past the wagon. Now all that remains is to show you the full run, from stealing the wagon to collecting all four plants. Note this is spliced together from three separate trips, doing two save and reloads. Kudos to you if you can get all four plants in one go. Best of luck, and please check out the links in the description for more Red Dead Redemption 2 video guides.
Thank you. 